let's just grab a very simple shape. Let's do um, an A major. So I'm going to grab the E note, the A note, C sharp, and E. So that's ninth fret on the G string, 10th fret on the B string, 9th fret on the E string, and 12th fret. So we're going to go down, 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 and then an up stroke. Right. Now the idea is to do this obviously in time, so let's just get the mechanics down first. Notice that I don't hammer, right? Some people sweep, they do this, and then they hammer that pinky, so like don't do that, pick it. So down, 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 up. And don't do the elbow thing, right? So no elbow, just Make sure your wrist is going just almost like a windshield wiper, right? Just like, that's all it does. Right? Down, 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 up, down, 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 up. All right, so just put up a click. Double time it. Now let's just add two more shapes, right, for A major. So we got, uh, that's the ninth position. Let's go down to the fifth position. All right, so you got a C sharp, you got an E, you got an A, you got a C sharp. So sixth fret, fifth fret, fifth fret, ninth fret. This is a little trickier because you have to bar. So, you know, try to keep it as smooth and with a little noise as possible. All right, let's try that with the click. Double time it. Another shape, we'll do it up here on the on 12th position. We got an A on 14th fret, C sharp on 14th fret, E on 12th fret, and an A on 17th fret. Alright, so you can bar with your second finger, first finger and pinky. Let's try that. Now, if you do the same thing for minor, right, let's review what it would look like for minor. So we'll do A minor down here. So the mechanics don't change, down, 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 up. All right, and then you got A minor down here. This one is probably the trickiest because you have to bar across three strings. So you, you probably might want to palm mute a tad, right? Just on, on the on the G string a little bit. 
don't have all that ringing going on. So I'm slightly palm muting the G and B string, just a little bit. A minor up here. And then A minor up here. So now we're gonna go descending. Now for descending, right, there's two ways to play it. Uh, a very famous way of playing it is, is a upstroke, pull up, upstroke, and then a downstroke. Right? But for sweeping, you know, it's not really a uh, 100%. So. If you want to sweep that 100%, then you have to go down stroke on the E, up stroke on the C sharp, up stroke on the A, and up stroke on the E. Notice again here, I'm not using my elbow, right? I'm not doing this. I see a lot of people do that. They sweep up and the whole elbow just moves. Don't do that. So you kind of tilt your, your thumb inward and you wrist the same way. All right, let's try that with the click. comes the fun part we're gonna do a five string arpeggio right but we're only gonna use one shape so uh, we'll do it in the key of D right so this will be pattern one so D major right fifth string fifth fret so you're going down 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 up now, instead of coming back on the same position, you're going to move up to E minor. Start with a downstroke. Up, 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 up. And then back to D. Next one would be F sharp minor, so you move up with the pinky and you ascend. Right, F sharp minor up here. That's the ninth fret. And then G major down. So at any point, right, I'm not doing one pull off, right? Everything is picked. So down, 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 up. Up, down, up, 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 up. Got A major. We got B minor. Now here comes the tricky one, which is C sharp diminished. C sharp, E, G, C sharp, E, G, and back to D up here. Now we're gonna descend. Then back B minor. Up A. Down G. Up F sharp. Minor. Down E minor. All right. 
Now, let's just go through all these shapes very slow. The one thing you want to avoid is sliding without picking, right? I call it shifting, right? When you move your hand, but you still pick. I'm not doing this. And a lot of people, you know, do the slide and then they lose, you know, time and that makes it sloppy. Now, when you descend, remember that the pinky is your connecting point. So let me bring the click up here, make it a little more challenging. Triple, 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 right? Two, three, four. <laughs> So let's use the two major triads we have up here, and this one. So it's G and A. So basically what I'm doing, I'm ascending G, and then descending A. So down, 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 up, down, up, up, up. And I'm cycling that. Right? You can do the same approach now to the whole harmonized major scale, which I did before. So in this case, we got D, E minor, F sharp minor, G, A, B minor, C sharp diminished, and D. All right, so let's do that kind of slow. Here we go. One time with the click. One, two, three, and four. 